Football is undoubtedly one of the most popular sports in the world, with millions of fans across the globe. The sport generates billions of dollars in revenue annually, and as a result, it has attracted some of the world's wealthiest individuals. In this video, we will be discussing the top 10 richest football owners in the world in 2023. These individuals are not only avid fans of the sport but have also invested heavily in the industry, owning some of the most successful football clubs in the world. From the United States to Russia, the United Arab Emirates to the United Kingdom. These football owners have amassed great wealth through various business ventures, with their football clubs serving as just one aspect of their vast portfolios. Let us delve into the world of football and explore the fortunes of the richest football owners in 2023. 10. Guo Guangchang, Wolverhampton Wanderers, £5.2 billion. Guo Guangchang is the 45th richest person in China, according to Huron Report's 2019 China Rich List. He is a businessman and an investor who is worth £5.20 bn. The chairman and co-founder of Fosun International Limited. He took over Wolverhampton Wanderers in July 2016, becoming one of the richest club owners in football. 9. Zhang Jindong, Inter Milan, £6.2 billion. Serie A defending champions Inter Milan also have Chinese ownership. The club is owned by Zhang Jindong. Jindong is worth around £6.20 bn. The entrepreneur is one of the founders and the current honorary chairman of Sunning.com. He took over Inter Milan in June 2016 after his private firm Sunning Holdings bought 70% of the club's shares for $300 million. 8. Stan Kroenke, Arsenal, £6.8 billion. Kroenke became majority stakeholder at Arsenal in April 2011. Arsenal's owner Stan Kroenke may get accusations of not spending enough money on the club, but it's definitely not because of the lack of it. The American billionaire businessman is worth £6.8 billion, making him one of the richest owners in world football. Kroenke owns the club through his company Kroenke Sports and Entertainment. He became a shareholder in May 2007, and became the majority shareholder of Arsenal Football Club in April 2011. 7. Philip Anschutz, LA Galaxy, £8.1 billion. Philip Anschutz is an American businessman who has built fortunes in oil, railroads, telecom, real estate and entertainment. He is the owner of majority stakes in the major league soccer club LA Galaxy, making him one of the richest club owners in world football. Anschutz bought Los Angeles Galaxy for $26 million in 1998 and is worth £8.1 billion himself today. 6. Burley and his consortium, Chelsea, £11 billion. The sanctions by the UK government on Russia and Chelsea's owner Roman Abramovich led to the club being put up for sale. Todd Burley led the takeover bid at Chelsea last season. Following the competition of the takeover, Burley promised to commit £1.75 billion in further investment for the benefit of the club. This included a revamp of Stamford Bridge, investment into the academy and the women's team. While in the first transfer window as owners, Burley has managed to pull in English winger Raheem Sterling, Mark Cucurella and Kaladu Koulibaly. 5. Andrea Agnelli, Juventus, £14 billion. Agnelli is one of the richest owners in world football. Andrea Agnelli did not buy Juventus. Rather it was the Agnelli family that got the ownership back in 1923 through Giovanni Agnelli, founder of Fiat. He was appointed as chairman of the board of directors of Juventus in 2010 and is worth £14 billion himself. It is the longest uninterrupted ownership of a sports franchise in the world. 4. Dietrich Maitschitz, RB Leipzig, RB Salzburg and New York Red Bulls, £15.7 billion. Dietrich Maitschitz is an Austrian billionaire businessman. He owns 49% of the Red Bull Energy Drink Company. According to Forbes, he was the 40th wealthiest person in the world in 2019, with a net worth of £15.7 billion, thus becoming one of the richest owners in club football. The Austrian is the key to the rise of RB Leipzig and RB Salzburg after initiating the clubs in German and Austrian Bundesliga respectively. New York Red Bulls is another football club under his ownership that plays in the MLS. 3. Sheikh Mansour, Manchester City, £21 billion. Sheikh Mansour has been the majority owner of Manchester City since 2008. 
The club is under the ownership of City Football Group, a British company with the majority stake owned by the Abu Dhabi United Group and investors from USA and China. Mansour is reportedly worth £21 billion and has a family fortune of at least $1 trillion, making him one of the richest owners in world football. The outfit has become a force in the world of football because of foreign investment. 2. Qatar Investment Authority, Paris Saint-Germain, £220 billion. Taman bin Hamad Al Thani owns 70% of PSG, making him one of the richest owners in world football. Paris Saint-Germain are owned by a state fund. In June 2011, Taman bin Hamad Al Thani, the Emir of Qatar, bought 70% of the club's shares through state-run shareholding organization Qatar Sports Investments (QSI), a subsidiary of Qatar Investment Authority (QIA). Nasser Al Khalifi is chairman and CEO of Paris Saint-Germain and also the chairman of QSI. 1. Saudi Arabia Public Investment Fund, Newcastle United, 320 billion pounds. Newcastle United becomes the second club to be state-owned. The £305 million takeover of the club is complete by a consortium which includes the Saudi Arabia Public Investment Fund. The PIF has the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia, Mohammed bin Salman, listed as the chairman. The state-owned fund has assets of around £320 billion, making them the richest owners of a football club. Newcastle will have an unlimited pipeline of funds to bring in the best players from the world to regain their glory days and challenge for trophies. The foreign investment will increase chances of success because the club did not have the finances to compete before. In conclusion, the world of football has always been a magnet for wealth and prestige, attracting some of the world's richest individuals. The football clubs owned by these billionaires have not only served as a source of pride and passion but also as significant investments generating massive returns. From oil tycoons to media moguls, these individuals have not only taken the world of football by storm but also made their mark in various other industries. It's clear that the wealth and power of these football owners are unlikely to wane anytime soon. And the football world will continue to be a playground for the rich and famous. It will be interesting to see what the future holds for both these individuals and their football clubs.